Hello again, everyone. Have you made smash burgers on a griddle? First time ever right here. You ready to see how it's done? Let's get started right now. I know you guys are familiar with fresh ingredients and I've got a bunch of them right there. How about the star of the show? That's 80, 20 certified Angus. How about that? Beautiful for a burger. That's how you do a burger, folks. Try to do 80-20 if you can. Can't have a burger without your buns. Let's go this way. Look, there's, an, there's, an, there's a tomato. Oh, my goodness. And an onion. Got a head of lettuce. Lettuce by a head. And then we're going to make a sauce, folks. Look at this. Here's what's going to uh, go in the sauce. The mayonnaise, the yellow mustard, the hot sauce, and the Worcestershire. Touch of seasoning. We always got that frag out flavor right there. Doesn't that look awesome? That's going to be Bunker Buster today, which says steak and wild game. I'm putting it on a burger and a little cheddar to make it all better. That is how you smash burger. See? Simple. Let's fire up that ninja and start making this sauce. I'll show you guys how to do it. Now you guys can see we've got our meat here, and I'm going to show you what to do. I always cut it that way for one, and then you can cut it again. And that's how you keep everything mostly even that way. Your um, uh, meat will be about in, uh, roll them up into a ball. You don't have to work too much here. And I'm going to keep all four kind of together, but not seasoned yet. And I'm going to actually put these back in the fridge while we prepare our sauce and the Ninja Griddle and keep these cold. And I'll explain why to you as we move along. Ooh. And like I was saying, right back in that fridge, we're gonna keep them cold. Hey, were you trying to get away? No, you're not. Now, cool cats, as you can see, what I did in my bowl here was I um, shredded up that Vidalia onion very, very fine up against the kind of like the cheese grater type thing, you know? So it's almost like an onion puree. Now in there, in our bowl, that's our mixture. There goes your mayonnaise. Oh, that's good looking. How about some of that yellow mustard? Very careful measurements. Your hot sauce, so today and mine is Cholula, whatever hot sauce you like is fine. And then right on top of that is gonna come your Worcestershire sauce. Or as Yosemite Sam likes to say, a dash of Worcestershire sauce. It's a pretty good Yosemite Sam, isn't it? And what you do is, and you can use a spoon, a fork, or whatever you like, but I like to use a whisk. And you're going to get a great, great seasoning here, guys. This sauce is going to take on the flavor kind of like a remoulade sauce, if you've ever used one of those, but it's just perfect for smash burgers. It's going to really complement that meat perfectly, just like that. And in case you hadn't noticed, whoosh, fishmonkeygloves.com. Now, of course, if you guys have not seen how I fire up the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Pro Grill and Griddle. Ooh, isn't it lovely? Yeah, ooh, wow. Of course it is. Now, here's how we're gonna be rotating and uh, crotating this thing today. Um, what you're gonna go over here to do is function, and then you're gonna turn your knob to the barbecue griddle right there. I say just griddle, I don't know why it says barbecue. But anyway, there's your time that we want, the 30 minutes, and it's gonna start preheating itself just as soon as you do that. And um, of course, it's not gonna take 30 minutes and of course, when we raise this thing up, there is your grill. And of course the lid will shut and shut off as you do that because I'm gonna add the griddle now. And if you guys haven't seen all this in action, please refer, there you go, to my unboxing and review video that I did as it continues to preheat. And you get your little indicator lights coming this way and we're gonna get ready. As soon as this thing comes hot, we put everything on that griddle. Now, ooh, looking good, isn't it? How about we put our buns on there first. I like to get mine toasted pretty quick, like that. Keep them on there just one minute. That's enough before we start the meat. Let's take a look at our griddled buns. Oh, ow, ooh, yeah, yeah, they're toasted. I'd say so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Here comes the meat. And now we are going to come back to putting our meat right there on the griddle gonna do all four of them. Give them a little bit of space, you know, because you're gonna be smashing these things down. And boy, that sizzle sounds great, doesn't it, on that griddle. Now, just a touch of seasoning is all you need. And that's our frag out flavor. 
and then you're going to start smashing. I've got my uh, parchment paper and we're going to smash with the help. like that. As long as you work quick, parchment paper should peel right up just like that. Let's smash another one. That looks great. Yeah. Now, as you guys can see, we have them rocking and rolling right here, and they're gonna take about three minutes or until you start to see that gray and that crisp on the sides. Now, let me tell you what's happening right now, guys. It's called the Maillard reaction. Maillard, that's how you say it. And that means it is a uh, technically a chemical process. That's gonna convert those proteins in this meat to hundreds of flavor compounds. That's how you get the flavor out of one of these smashed burgers. And something else, why I put them on there cold, when I smash them down, you don't get all the juices releasing. They will stay in that meat. Has it been long enough? Do you guys think we should start flipping? Ooh. All right. One flip. Oh, wow. Looking great, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that one is like that. Okay. And this won't take long now, see? So on this burger, we get cheese. On this one... We get cheese, and they're cooked. Did you see how quick that was? Just like that, just like that. Oh, you're kidding. Let me push them over in the middle for you so you guys can get a really, really good view. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. Smash burgers. They're really, really looking great. See all that extra grease on the griddle? How it really doesn't stick, it just runs. That is the genius of the Ninja product. It's fantastic. And by the way, kids, that grease, Give that to your neighbor's hunting dog. Let's set up some burgers. Yeah! You're kidding me. Don't act like that's not sexy. You know it is. We have beauty. We have gloriousness. You know what we don't have? A spoonful of our sauce. How about a spoonful on each burger? Look at that sauce, guys. Perfect with the meat and the cheese. Remember that lettuce? I shredded. Remember that lettuce? I shredded. Hey, stop repeating yourself. Hey, here's a little tip. I sliced my onions really, really thin because you want that meat to come out. You don't want the onion, I'm sorry, the, the tomatoes, hello, to be, um, bigger than the actual meat or the bun. You want that really uh, flavor of that meat to really shine. Kind of like I just proved to you. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that look fantastic? Smash burgers. Ninja foodie. Pro XO grill and griddle. See how quick it was? How easy? Guys, wait till you taste these things. Now I know what you might be wondering or asking yourself. Hey, Top Jimmy, what a great job. But what do you serve? with the smash burgers. How about a big glass of sweet tea and a national champions Turvis tumbler? Wow. Everybody getting that? You're getting it now. Oh my goodness. We appreciate you guys watching. We always do. Smash burgers, guys. The Ninja continues to be the greatest appliances and cookware I've ever used. I hope you guys look into it. Ninjakitchen.com. Gotta leave you a hashtag down in that description. Make sure you like and subscribe. You're not going to miss any more of the fun stuff we're having here. Because Top Jimmy cooks, especially Smash Burgers. This is a private moment, but I'll let you in on it. Oh, my God. Get out. You. Out. I got to eat.